Howdy folks. Uh, today I wanted to make an announcement here that I'll be doing my first read along with David Murphy and we're going to be reading The Communist Manifesto by Karl Marx and Frederick Engels. Now The Communist Manifesto, you've probably heard of it before. It's an extremely influential document uh, that was written in 1848. And 1848 was a significant year, especially in Europe, because in Europe that was during the enormous wave <laughs> of revolutions, one of the widest waves of revolutions ever seen in that region. And Marx and Engels were commissioned by the Communist League, I believe it was the first Communist Party ever officially organized, and they wanted Marx and Engels to write a pamphlet that would help spread their ideas as a party and their goals and what it was that they were all about. And so that's how the Communist Manifesto came to be. Um, it has been through a lot of different waves in its history. Um, it went into obscurity uh, a couple decades, I believe, after it had been published. And then it would rise up again in like the 1870s. And ever since, in a lot of socialist, communist, any like far left movements that we've seen uh, across the world, this text has often been uh, one of the centerpieces for that. Even today, as we're seeing huge moves across the world, um, the influence of the Communist Manifesto uh, is there in certain places. So I think what better time than now <laughs> to do this read along. Um, and so for me, the version I'm going to be reading is the uh, Norton Critical Edition. And the way David and I uh, decided we were going to do this was in two parts. And we're going to start reading this in December. So come December 8th, we're going to do our first part of this. And then on December 15th, we're going to do the second and last part. Now, two good points about this if you want to join. This is an extremely accessible work. You can find this for free online without much work at all. And I will leave a link down in the description box for folks who are interested. A second point here is that it's also extremely short. It's only divided into five parts. The preamble and then four sections. So... Uh, and it's a pamphlet, so pamphlets are not books, so they're very quick to get through. Um, now, I may be doing the Norton Critical Edition that I'm primarily reading out of, but I may use other sources to do more uh, deep dives, analysis of rhetorical techniques, philosophy, history, what have you, when I get to the read-along videos, but for now, I'm just going to work on the Norton Critical Edition, and I will leave links to my cited sources below when we get to it. But I'm beyond excited to do this. Um, I'm very happy and thankful that David asked me to. Um, and I'm excited to see how our different perspectives uh, are going to go back and forth on this. Because I'll speak for myself here. Uh, I definitely come from the left, uh, and to be a bit more specific than I usually am, um, I have kind of a blend of different leftist tendencies that I kind of like or work with or meander around, and so that would obviously be Marxism, maybe a tinge of Marxist-Leninism, uh, definitely anarchism, and calm, so anarcho-communist, uh, and some notes, some notes of libertarian socialist thought. So that's kind of the perspective I'm going to be having when I approach this. But I'm not going to try to explain this book or this pamphlet in the terms that it wasn't trying to use. So I'm not going to try and bend it a certain way. I'm just going to explain it for the way that Marx was trying to elaborate his points and then put my perspective on it. So, super excited for this, and I hope you guys are too. Uh, 
feel free to join in on this. Um, I'm super stoked for this to be my first read along and I have great followers and I recently have gotten a ton new ones. So going to do something for you guys too here soon, but, uh, thanks so much for tuning in and, uh, I can't wait to talk more about this with you guys. So until next time, peace. <laughs>